Hi guys, the purpose of this video is to show you how to break apart larger multiplication problems into easier problems. Before we get started, we're going to look at some quick images. How many dots are there? All right, try and figure out how many are there without counting one by one. Hopefully you noticed that there were groups of four. Well, how many groups of four are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine groups of four, which gives us a total of 36. All right, let's try another one. Get ready, get set, go. All right, figure out your math. Let's see how you did. Hopefully you realize that there were three groups and in each group there were nine. So there were 27. Let's try one more. How many are there? Go ahead and figure it out. Let's see how you did. Nine times three equals 27. Three groups of nine each. All right, so today we were working on this problem. Mr. Jones needs to buy 14 dozen bagels for a big party. How many does he need to buy? Remember that a dozen equals 12. So we came up with the problem of 14 times 12. So we want to break this down to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to split the big number into two smaller numbers. Let's look at, I've got 14 times 12 here. And then I broke it into two smaller arrays. Watch what happens when I move this over. So there I have the 10 times the 12 fits right in. And now I have the 4 times the 12, and that fits right in. So now, the way that you write that with the equation, we've talked about two different ways. This way is an easy way to record your answer and keep track of what you're doing. You broke it into 10 times 12, right here, that's the first equation. Then you have the 4 times 12, which is the second equation. Then we add them up to give us 14 times 12. Now one thing I want to draw your attention to is that we only broke apart one number. The 12 stayed the same. And these numbers, they add up 10 plus 4 equals 14. And so do these numbers, 120 plus 48 equals 168. So this equation down here is the way a mathematician writes it. It's the same exact equation, it's just written a little bit differently. We start with the big problem, 14 times 12, and then we broke it into 10 times 12 and 4 times 12. This equation right here shows the associative property of multiplication, which means that you can break it apart into smaller problems. Now the one key to solving it using this way is that these parentheses are very important. They tell a mathematician that you need to do that operation first. So that means in order to figure out this problem, we have to do 10 times 12, which equals 120, before we do our adding. So then we have to figure out the 4 times the 12 before we do the adding. So 4 times 12 is 48. Then we can figure out that we have 14 times 12 equals 120 plus 48. So when I put these two numbers together, I get 168. And 14 times 12 equals 168. So now that we've broken apart this problem, I want to show you how it looks in a picture representation. I'm going to go to the split view so you guys can see uh, two pages at once. So here's the equation. Now imagine that these bags were full with 12 bagels each. What I did was I had 14 bags total, which was our original problem, 14 times 12. And I put a group of 10 over here, so this represents 10 times 12. And then I did a group of 4 over here, so this represents 4 times 12. So then what we have to do is we put these two together, the 120 and the 48, and we add them together, and we have, oops, that's not a pretty plus sign, 168, which is our answer. 
All right, so there's other ways to break this down. And um, I want to show you a different way to break down the problem. Let's say you decided instead of breaking apart the 14, you wanted to break apart the 12. Here we have 8 times 12. I mean 8 times 14, excuse me. And then we have 4 times 14. And they line up as well. Let me get those lined up there. And if you notice, we have 8 times 14, 4 times 14. And the same thing that happened before, the 8 plus the 4 equals a 12. So now let's figure out, let's do the answers. We've got 8 times 14, and 8 times 14 equals 112, and then we had 4 times 14, which equals 56. So now when we add these up, they should equal 168, the same number that we got before. We just broke apart the problem a different way. And um, like I said before, these answers so now we're going to break apart the 14 into 10 and 4, and we're going to multiply each part by 12. So I'm going to do my 10 here. This box is bigger. I'm going to put my 4 here. That's the 10 and the 4 from the 14. And I'm going to multiply each one by 12. So this graphic organizer is going to help me keep track of what I'm multiplying. So in this box I have 12 times, oops, excuse me, 12 times 10 which equals 120 and then in this box I have my 12 times 4 which equals 48. Alright let's turn that sideways so that it fits inside that box. So now I can easily add up my 120 to 48 and that equals 168. I know I have the answer because I broke down the 14 into 10 and 4. I multiplied each number by 12 which was the group then I added them up so my answer is 168. Now it's your turn. Um, on the website I want you to solve these practice problems, put your answers and your explanation on the Google form. Uh, the first one is to break apart and solve 17 times 9. And then I want you to solve this problem about Ruth and Michelle buying some cupcakes for a big party. Good luck. I can't wait to see your answers.